Bombay Sappers or the Bombay Engineering Group is celebrating its 200 years of existence by organizing a bicentenary celebration from 29th January to 1st of February at Kharki, which is their headquarters. Today we have a young lady who just joined the army, the Corps of Engineers and the Bombay Sappers. Second generation officer, Lieutenant Jaspreet Kaur Bhopara. It is nice to see the women empowerment and Jaspreet is an example for that. Jaspreet, tell me, why did you decide to join the army? So growing up, uh, watching my father in the army, I never had to choose to come to army. It was as if it was decided that this is what I want to do. So I've uh, studied architecture and doing that only, I knew that my final destination would be coming to the country. And I worked for it right uh, from my college. I started applying in the third year when the technical entry was there, but uh, sadly the baby of the was in So uh, then I came to CBS. I being a non tech, I still came to the university of my technical entry. Why did you choose Bombay Sappers? Sir, I feel it's an honor and a privilege to come to Bombay Sappers. We are so unique, we are so powerful, we have so many capabilities. There's so much we have to And to be among these very few officers who get to do it, I feel very proud. So that's great. Bombay Sapper, once a Bombay Sapper? Always a Bombay Sapper. Always a Bombay Sapper. So uh, it's uh, very nice, you welcome to Bombay Sappers and look forward that you achieve what you aspire for as an architecture in the Corps of Engineers because we have got military engineering services yes. and uh, people rise very high in the structural department of yours yes. and even otherwise. Yes. You need not be confined only to this. Yes. What are your aspirations uh, as an engineer officer, as a Bombay Sapper officer in the future? Well, engineers uh, have so much for you to learn from bridging to demolition to CDRO. There are so many fields and every field has such a vast field of knowledge. So it is up to you whether you want to get uh, professionally qualified in one field or you know there is an opportunity to learn everything about so much which I feel no other arms are right. So uh, being an engineer officer I want to learn everything there is and an uh, engineer officer is capable of doing and can provide to the army. And along with that, use my technical knowledge to the best. Well, that's a good idea. But to achieve that, as you rightly have a vision, you have to have short-term goals and long-term goals. Short-term goals are for about five years or so. Long-term are goals for the longer period. Once you make these goals, your city computer start functioning and you achieve it automatically. So, but then your computer is there is guiding you. So you must make those thoughtfully and you definitely Now as a young lady who has joined army in Mumbai Sapper, what message would you like to give to those babies who are looking forward and sitting on the sidelines to join the army? So firstly, uh, being a woman, since you have a limited number of seats, many people get disheartened when they don't make it. I would say first of all, don't give up. Keep trying. And uh, there's a possibility that you might not do good the first time. So keep trying. And if you really want to be here and if you are trainable, the army will get you. And it's the best career, uh, the best line of field one can work in. The environment, the things you get to learn, the exposure, the uh, adventurous activities you get to do, the places you go to. There is just no other job that can compare us. And you are the luckiest person to get to do. So keep trying and keep working hard. Very well said. 
very well said Jaspreet. Uh, I have almost equal share of uh, my service in uh, defense and subsequently in civil. I've been, uh, you know, not been ever uh, without any work. I think uh, nothing to beat the army yes. and nothing to beat the bombers. Yes, sir, so your aim is absolutely clear and your message is very inspiring. Thank you very much on behalf of Aviation Defense Universe and on behalf of Bombay Service. And wish you a very checkered and colorful career in life. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Justin. Thank you.